Halo, this is my 3D printed Spartan from Halo 5 Guardians. Anybody can get one of these things made by going to halowaypoint.com. You log in with your Xbox Live account. It's all official, it's 343. Go into customize your Spartan from your profile on halowaypoint.com and you'll see a little shortcut link with some different colors up above for 3D print my Spartan. This is done with a partnership with Sandboxer and they're, they're the ones who actually do the production work. It doesn't take too long, it takes like a, a week, two at most, from the time of your order to receiving the thing. They had a little bit of backlog early on, but it works much better now. They take your exact armor set and your stance and they print it up for you. It's expensive though. It's ridiculously expensive. So just for the sake of scale, let me bring in my Mega Constructs version of me. This is the largest form that you can get. Uh, the largest one, I think it's called Extra Large in size. And it's $190. Ugh. Yeah, that sucks. A very, very bitter pill to swallow. But I have a room dedicated to Halo memorabilia, so I wanted to have one of these. And unfortunately, I had already ordered one previously when this service became available, once I kind of settled into the, the armor setup that I was going to use. Originally, back when it seemed like EOD was gone for good. EOD is my jam. I've been doing EOD since Halo uh, 3 Reach. I loved it, but you know they got rid of it for Halo 5, so I did one originally for what was going to be my my guy, my setup. So this is an early one. This is one of one of the, the earliest batches. This is considered the large size. And this one is $90. So a hundred dollars more for that little bit of difference. Worth it? No. One time in my life, <laughs> I'm glad to, to have the largest size available, but is that a $100 worth of difference? Probably not. Now they have changed their production methods just a little bit. These are not supposed to be the same color, by the way. Now, this is just what I had settled on then, but now I've got something that's a little bit more appropriate for me. Of course, in game, they did change the colors at, at one point, but previously they would do a spray. It's probably just an aerosol can spray of gloss over the whole thing, which I believe contributed to the increased depth of, of dark. You know, this is supposed to be black here. That actually isn't half bad, but the new one, you know, this is supposed to be the exact same thing. It's the exact same armor that I had in both cases. It's, it's Raider, a legendary armor set. I uh, just changed out the the helmet on this one. This is Anubis, this is the OD of course, but you know it's supposed to be the same black here and here. This is a little bit on the on the light side, a little bit on the pale side, and in fact the entire thing is very lacking in contrast. Not too happy with the finish. I know there are things you can do to improve the finish after the fact, and I will certainly eventually do something. Uh, also, uh, there are some bits where the, the styrofoam, I believe, I believe that's what that's from. I might be mistaken, but I believe that's just from the styrofoam packing. Uh, like they put it in a little bit too soon. They, they pack these things really well. They give you a full set of cut out sheets of styrofoam that hold onto the thing very carefully to make sure nothing is damaged in transit because these 3D printed sculptures can be a little bit on the brittle side, but no damage to either of mine. But I do believe that's from just a little bit too much heat still being on either the the styrofoam pieces themselves uh, when they were cut out and then placed around this thing, or too much heat on the statue itself. You can see some texture. Uh, I'm definitely not happy with that that texture, and I will definitely be doing something. I might end up just painting the whole thing to bring out much better detail. Might even put a maybe a matte colored finish over this. But I mean the shaping is right, the colors are in the right places, and they give you the option, you don't have to follow through with this, but they give you the option of putting a, a custom uh, word or just a, a short little bit of text on the back. 
So again, a once in a lifetime splurge. If you're a really big fan of Halo, you might want to try this out. I definitely recommend sticking to nothing larger than the large size, just in terms of, of value. You know, they get smaller from here. Uh, the cheapest one, try to look on my, my screen. I've got it across the room. Looks like the cheapest one is 30 bucks, but it's about four inches tall. So that would be about half this. That would be about something, something in this range. You know, which is, I think, very reasonable. I think they just become expe exponentially more expensive and lower in value the, the larger you go in, in size. And definitely, I would recommend doing some work to this thing after the fact. It doesn't look like they actually apply the, the color scheme or the skin from your weapon here, because I use the gold standard for all of my weapons. And this seems to be just a default, and that was the, the same deal previously, so there seems to be no change in that. I'm okay with that. No real complaint about that. Uh, the halo plaque down at the base is also not completely clear. You know, it, it eh, eh, maybe they were actually going for that kind of look and not trying to make it pure white. I don't know. Overall, finish is, is not that great for especially a $200 product. But if I could do it again, I would, uh, just to be honest. I want to have me in with, with, with the proper EOD helmet in this case, and exactly as I appear in game, as I've kind of settled, including in this case, even using my favorite type of, of weapon. And this will go on display in my Halo room. Just wanted to share that, wanted to show what it looked like and give my thoughts about it. If there's anything you would like to say about what you've seen here, feel free to leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.